Welcome to this captivating audiobook dedicated to the timeless and poetic world of William Shakespeare's sonnets. These enduring masterpieces of English literature, penned by the bard himself, have stood the test of time and continue to resonate with audiences worldwide, transcending centuries and cultures. Shakespeare's sonnets are a treasure trove of emotions, thoughts, and reflections that delve deep into the human soul. Comprising 154 sonnets, this collection explores themes of love, beauty, time, mortality, and the complexities of human relationships. They provide a profound glimpse into the complexities of the human experience, offering readers and listeners a mirror to their own innermost feelings and desires. The beauty of Shakespeare's sonnets lies not only in their lyrical language but also in their ability to evoke powerful emotions. Each sonnet is a miniature masterpiece, a carefully crafted expression of love, desire, jealousy, and the ever-elusive nature of time. As you listen to these sonnets, you'll find yourself transported to an era of eloquence and poetic brilliance, where words are woven into exquisite tapestries of meaning. Shakespeare's exploration of love is a central theme in these sonnets. From the ecstasy of passionate infatuation to the agony of unrequited love, his words resonate with the complexities and contradictions of the human heart. Whether you are a romantic at heart or a curious soul seeking to understand the depths of human emotions, these sonnets offer a profound and enriching experience. Moreover, the sheer diversity of Shakespeare's sonnets is astonishing. Some are addressed to a mysterious and captivating, dark lady, while others celebrate the beauty of a young man, and yet more contemplate the passage of time and the inevitability of death. This variety ensures that there is a sonnet for every mood, every occasion, and every facet of the human experience. As you embark on this auditory journey through Shakespeare's sonnets, prepare to be enraptured by the eloquence of the language, the depth of the emotions, and the timeless relevance of these verses. Whether you are a Shakespearean scholar, a poetry enthusiast, or simply someone in search of beauty and wisdom in words, these sonnets are sure to captivate your heart and mind. So, sit back, relax, and let the mellifluous words of William Shakespeare transport you to a world where love, passion, and profound introspection intertwine, creating a symphony of emotions that will resonate with you long after the last sonnet has been spoken. Enjoy the journey into the enchanting realm of Shakespeare's sonnets. Here is the full verses of Shakespeare's sonnet number 4 Unthrifty Loveliness, Why Dost Thou Spend? Upon Thyself Thy Beauty's Legacy After the sonnet listen to the summary and analysis of the sonnet. Unthrifty Loveliness, Why Dost Thou Spend? Upon Thyself Thy Beauty's Legacy Nature's bequest gives nothing, but doth lend. And being frank she lends to those are free. Then, beauteous niggard, why dost thou abuse? The bounteous largess given thee to give. Profitless usurer, why dost thou use? So great a sum of sums, yet canst not live. For having traffic with thyself alone. Thou of thyself thy sweet self dost deceive. Then how when nature calls thee to be gone? What acceptable audit canst thou leave? Thy unused beauty must be tuned with thee. Which, used, lives th, executor to be. Summary. Sonnet 4 addresses the theme of procreation and the misuse of one's beauty. The speaker criticizes the young man for not using his beauty to procreate and continue his lineage. Instead, the young man selfishly keeps his beauty to himself, which is unproductive and wasteful. The speaker compares the young man to a spendthrift who squanders his wealth and a usurer who hoards riches but cannot truly live. The poem concludes by emphasizing that if the young man continues to keep his beauty to himself, it will be buried with him when he dies, whereas if he procreates, his beauty will live on in his children. Analysis Financial Metaphors The sonnet employs financial metaphors to convey its message. Phrases like, unthrifty loveliness, beauteous niggard, profitless usurer, and, sum of sums, allude to economic terms. This use of metaphor helps to emphasize the idea that the young man is wasting a valuable resource, his beauty, by not using it to procreate. Nature's generosity, the poem suggests that beauty is a gift from nature, nature's bequest, that should be shared and passed on to future generations. Nature is portrayed as generous and willing to lend beauty to those who are, free, to procreate. This concept aligns with the Renaissance belief in procreation as a duty to ensure the continuity of beauty and virtues. Selfishness and vanity, the speaker criticizes the young man for being selfish and vain. 
by keeping his beauty to himself and not having children he is deceiving himself and squandering a precious resource the term sweet self implies self indulgence and self centeredness life and death the sonnet touches on the themes of life and death it suggests that if the young man continues to be selfish and does not procreate his beauty will die with him and he will leave behind nothing of value acceptable or dead when he passes away rhyme scheme sonnet 4 follows the traditional shakespearean or english sonnet rhyme scheme consisting of three quatrains four line sections followed by a rhyme couplet two lines this structure allows for the development of the argument and theme in a systematic way themes the primary themes of sonnet 4 include procreation the misuse of beauty the passage of time and the consequences of selfishness it emphasizes the idea that beauty has a purpose beyond mere appearance it should be shared and passed on through offspring in conclusion sonnet 4 serves as a critique of the young man's selfishness and vanity in not using his beauty to procreate it employs vivid metaphors and financial imagery to convey the idea that beauty like wealth should be invested wisely to ensure its continued existence in future generations The sonnet underscores the importance of posterity and the consequences of squandering one's natural gifts.